Hey, this is Ryan Johnson from D3 Technologies. In this tech tip, I want to take a look at the Inventor presentation timeline. Specifically, I want to look at how we can use our, uh, our tweaks to duplicate action on multiple items rather than creating them individually. So you notice I've already got this set of objects set up. I'm going to go ahead and do this two different ways. First I'm going to use my tweak tool and I'm going to go around and select using my control key all of the objects I would like to tweak at once. And then again down here all of the bolts the lock washers so if I built the animation this way and then I want to move all the objects together I've got to go in and move several items Of course, we can also go and edit the time. But again, then we're having to type in values. So maybe 9 to 11 and a half. And it still does only the one item. So I'm going to undo a few steps to before those were created and rebuild what I had already done. In this case, we'll just move this top piece up. Move the bolt down. We'll move our lock washer and then we'll move our circular washer. In this case, I've really only animated one segment of the objects. And I only have to move these four items together in the timeline. It's actually very easy to copy this animation to additional objects. So it may be beneficial to set up your timing and animation on a small group of objects. And once that group is animated properly, to go in and copy that to the other objects. I can do that several ways by editing the tweak. I can right click here on the timeline on the tweak to edit the tweak. I can also find the component in the screen, edit the tweak. Or I can even go to the browser, find the tweak I would like to edit, and edit it there. I'm going to use the timeline because this is the easiest for me to visualize. Edit tweak. All I've got to do is click on the additional components I would like to participate in that tweak. And you'll notice it copies them all at the correct timing instead of me having to go back and adjust the timing on all of them. So let's do this on the second edit tweak and all we have to do is go around and select our additional bolts and copy for each of those items and they'll copy the existing motion that was created on the first item. And now when I play my animation, all of the objects are moving appropriately. So just a quick tip on duplicating the, the motion in your presentation files using the new Inventor 2017 presentation file environment. Go try it out.